The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar presented by our partner, Fortel. Now, many of you hopefully know me by now, but for those that I haven't had the pleasure of presenting for before, uh, my name is Henry Suarez, and I'm the 3D Cart Product Manager, where part of my job is to help merchants learn as much as possible about the 3D Cart service and its features. Uh, with us today is our exclusive recommendation vendor, Fortel. Um, we recently partnered with Fortel because they offer literally the best recommendation service technologies for small and medium businesses, which coincidentally is the same focus we have for our cart. Um, Fortel has been in business for over two years, which grew out of their participation in Netflix competition to improve the then existing movie rental recommendation system that they had. Uh, today that business has evolved into a platform that offers terrific uh, automated recommendations for online shoppers, uh, all at a price that our mutual merchants can afford. Now presenting with us today will be Seth Brandis and Amy Weisfeld, both from Fortel. Uh, and in an interesting twist that we've never had before in any of our previous webinars, we also have with us an actual 3D card and Fortel user, Mr. Fernando Luli from RoyalYarns.com. Uh, I'll be moderating a quick Q&A session towards the end of our presentation, so please feel free to type your questions into the question pane located on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, we'll be pulling questions from there during the Q&A period. And if by some chance we run out of time to answer all of the questions, the Fortel team will uh, be sure to get back to you with the response after the webinar. Again, I want to welcome you all to the presentation. I'm going to hand the reins over to Seth, who's going to tell us about Fortel's service and how it can help you boost sales in your 3D card store. Seth, it's all yours. Thanks, Henry. I appreciate it. Good morning, everyone out there. And uh, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are in the world. Through the magic of the internet, we're all together. Um, I am Seth Brandis with Fortel. I am the Director of Sales and Business Development over here. And uh, we've got a great little company, a great little solution for you this morning. Let's go right to the meat of the matter and tell you what we're going to talk about. Um, we're going to cover today what I consider the answers to the most commonly asked questions that we get at Fortel, which are, what are product recommendations? Why use this solution? And what is a solution like this buying? As a retailer, we're going to show you how to gain back your time, increase revenue, and show you examples of recommendations in action. So uh, with that in mind, I'd like to start right in with really what are recommendations. Um, I think the key thing to think about when we think about recommendations um, are, are moving my slides ahead. Yeah, there we go. Um, the key question that a lot of people ask about recommendations are really what are they? And we like to think about recommendations as cross-selling and upselling. Um, like the fries you get with your burger. Would you like fries with that? Um, or the Gummin Magazine rack at the grocery store checkout. Those are the kinds of add-ons, the kinds of things you'd like your customers to buy as they're checking out, uh, as adding in additional items to their orders. And personalized product recommendations are suggestions of products that are often bought together, but they're tailored to the individual. Thinking about the grocery checkout line, consider what would happen if the clerk knew you had a sweet spot for Hershey bars. They could conceivably tell you exactly what might be going really, really well with whatever you've got in your cart. Personalized recommendations greatly improve that shopping experience, and making it a lot easier for browsers to find the products they're seeking, both directly by looking at things and indirectly by working behind the scenes as the shopping recommendations that we provide do. Naturally, this leads to a nice boost in sales for you, the store owner, as well as a better shopping experience for the customer. Um, there's good recommendations, and <laughs> let's face it, there's bad recommendations. And we like to pride ourselves that we really know how to make great recommendations. And those are the kinds of things that help make Amazon, as an example, uh, so successful. Um, if you've seen our blog post on 3D Cart before, you, you know the answer to this question, um, which is, what makes Amazon an extra? $19,000 per minute. And um, the answer is product recommendations. It's not advertising. It's not email marketing. It's not even search. Personalized product recommendations over at Amazon 
are responsible for generating a whopping 25% of Amazon's total revenue. That's a staggering number. And Amazon, everyone knows how large they are. And it's not just them. 60% of Netflix members use recommendation. And a large retailer like Tommy Hilfiger says that they've seen a three-fold increase in online shopper conversions when people interact with their recommendations. And what we've done at, at Fortel is provide the same technology as a low-cost add-on for 3D cart retailers of all sizes. So the nice thing about looking at these big numbers from folks like Amazon is to think about what these results would bring to your store. Take a look at these numbers. Uh, and these are real world numbers that people have put in. Three times the conversion rate of browsers. Quadrupling the number of products viewed with revenue increases of up to 30%. It's really, really wonderful. And as folks will testify, there's much lower cart abandonment and improved customer loyalty resulting in much, much better business satisfaction for your customers and referrals. So one of the things we'd like to kind of take a break here for just a second and, and kind of ask the crowd that's with us today is what's on your site today in terms of recommendations? Um, we're going to take a short poll here. So let me launch a, a very short poll. Uh, and on your screen, you'll see some questions. Um, and uh, if you could check off one of these boxes and you'll see how we're doing. We'll keep this up for a couple of seconds. Um, we know you're spending a lot of money getting people to your site and managing it and um, you know most most retailers experience between a two to four percent conversion rate um, which you know when you think about it that means 98 percent of the people uh, can leave your store without buying anything and that's a very important thing. It'd be great to double that conversion rate if you're 2% to 4%, 3% to 6%, etc. So that's really what we're thinking about when we go through the poll. So thanks for voting. Um, I don't get to vote. You folks do. Um, so uh, we're not influencing that in any way, shape, or form. Um, but what I'd like to do now that we've done that quick poll is bring Amy on, and Amy can bring those results to you uh, and take you through the next step of our presentation. Okay. Amy, it's all yours. Excellent. Thank you, Seth. Oh, we seem to be having some problems here with our slides. So I'm not able to pull the results up right now, but we'll be sure that we email those out when we send a link to the webinar. Um, so right now I'm going to talk about the advantage of an automated system. And uh, this is a little bit different than the manual systems we were asking you about and different still from the category pairing that 3D Cart offers. Uh, as part of their service. Um, when we're talking about an automated system, we talk, and, and this is basically what powers our system, we're talking about the wisdom of the crowds and harnessing, harnessing that power. We also combine that with personalization, so we tune our system to the individual customer's buying habits. And we use all of that to, um, to increase your revenue and help you gain time by eliminating t the tedious manual task of implementing manual recommendations if that's a system you're doing. So we do all of this um, really seamlessly in the background automatically. It doesn't take any of your time and it runs, uh, runs just automatically on its own. So um, let's move to the next slide. And what we really want to talk about now is what's in it for you. That's the with them. What's in it for me? At the end of the day, that's what everybody is going to be asking themselves. Why should I add an automated system um, to my 3D cart uh, store. And, it, and the answer is because we're going to boost your revenue and profit. We're going to start by doing that by providing a better shopping experience to your customers. And that tends to increase uh, larger, it tends to give you larger average order values. It also tends to convert browsers to buyers. And the reason it converts browsers to buyers is we're giving your customers a new and different way of navigating. So we're bubbling product up to the surface that they might not otherwise see. Um, we tend to also uh, create more loyalty and repeat customers because they're having a better shopping experience, save time with automation, and last but certainly not least, we're providing powerful results on day one. So there's no lag time. We're not just pushing excess inventory or promotional items. So um, now we're going to ask another question of you guys, and that is, um, what, what's most important to you? So when we talk about... Oh, I don't know why we seem to be having problems here with our slides. 
when we talk about what's most important to you, the key questions are, <laughs> here we go. Um, I think we're not going to be able to do that poll, so I'm going to have to skip that. Um, oh, so if you are seeing it on your screen, we're looking at oh, which of up. these, thank you, which of these is most important to you? Uh, converting browsers to buyers, generating larger average order values, more repeat customers, or saving time with automation. So if you have an opinion on this, we'd love to hear from you at this point in time, and hopefully we will be able to show the poll. I'm going to give you just a couple more seconds to answer. And attempt to close the poll. And show you some answers. Let's see if we can show those answers. So interestingly, a uh, pretty, pretty large number there. 75% of you believe that converting browsers to buyers is more important than creating larger average order values, more repeat customers, or saving time with automation. OK, great. So now I'm going to um, move back to the deck. And hopefully you guys will see momentarily here. Thank you for taking the time to answer that. There we go. So why, why are we talking about Fortel Solution? Why do we say it's built for you? Um, basically, we provide three pretty major advantages. One is instant integration. This is because of the, of the hard work that we've done with 3D Carp to integrate our solution with theirs for all of their, uh, for all of you guys. And that means that our solution is free and ready to go from day one, since we're already a part of 3D Carp. Um, we also provide immediate results, so there's no training involved, there's no burn-in period, and new products are, at, and niche products for that matter, are immediately included and we can provide relevant recommendations for those. Now what do we mean by powerful? When we talk about Fortel solution, or really any automated solution being powerful, we're talking about providing different types of recommendations for different shopping scenarios. An example of this would be, let's say I'm shopping in an apparel uh, store. It's a brick and mortar store, and I go in, I'm, I'm a male, uh, let's pretend I'm Seth for a minute with his crazy hair. I go in and I want to buy a, uh, a dress shirt. So I ask the clerk to help me select a dress shirt. Now the, the clerk, if he or she is a pretty good salesperson, is likely going to say, here's the dress shirt for you, um, Seth, but we think that you might also enjoy this tie, or this belt matches that shirt. In that case, the clerk is given cross-sell recommendations. They're recommending items that go with that dress shirt. Now, another example would be if the clerk says, you know what, I know you probably don't like that shade of blue. Why don't you try this other shade of blue shirt? Or here's one with pinstripes that might be good. Those are similar recommendations. The clerk there is recommending shirts that I might buy in place of the one I'm looking at. So that's another type of recommendation. Fortel system offers about six different types of recommendations, and we can use them in various shopping scenarios. I'm going to show you some of those real-world examples in just a moment. Um, last but not least, we strive very hard to be affordable, and we offer our, our um, service at a monthly price that you can live with. So moving on. How does this all work? Um, basically, we snag your aggregate sales information, your historical sales catalog, and your product attribute catalog. That could be a Google feed. In any event, all of the information is already in 3D Cart system. We snag that information offline. We run it through our system, sort of add the magic algorithm, and then we're able to serve recommendations in real time. So when I say in real time, I mean you don't see the recommendations fill in. If I pop onto this website, um, you know, runner.com, and I'm looking at this particular sneaker, the recommendations that this is going to show, let's say they're cross-sell recommendations. So I'm looking at a shirt, a watch, and a, a pair of socks or, or a booty that goes with those sneakers. Those recommendations that I see are tuned for me. They're unique recommendations based on the visitor and the shopping experience. For example, if Henry was also looking at this website at the same time, and he happens to be looking at this same shoe, and he perhaps already has that shirt or that watch in his shopping cart, 
the cross-sell recommendations that Henry will see while looking at the same product as me, those recommendations will be different. So that's what I mean when I say that they're unique and they're dynamic. In that case, the system is automatically um, tuning the recommendations because Henry's got some items in his shopping cart. And we also do the same thing if Henry is logged in or cookied and we know who he is, in other words, he's not anonymous any longer, we know what Henry has purchased in the past, and we use those past purchases to influence the recommendations. So it's a pretty sophisticated system. We like to say that we're offering enterprise class recommendations to the SMB market. So what you should be looking at now is a real world example of a 3D cart customer um, who is also a Fortel customer. This is preemiestore.com, very uh, niche client of ours, uh, selling items to uh, you know, folks who have had um, premature babies. So a lot of the people coming to this site are, are here because they're looking for something very specific. In this case, you can see we've got cross-sell recommendations running vertically down the right-hand side of the product detail page. Now I'm going to show you the next slide, which shows we've also got similar items running across the bottom. And we often do this on 3D Cart's product detail pages. This is a choice that you, the retailer, make. If you decide to move forward with Fortel, we generate a site plan where we basically make recommendations on <laughs> pun intended, on where the recommendations should go in your site. And then you get to say, you know, yes, this sounds great, or no, I'd like to tweak the plan in this way. So there is quite a lot of control that's left up to you, the retailer, um, but we come out of the gate with a plan for you. So in Premie Store's uh, case, this has proven very successful, and we know through um, Google Analytics that our recommendations have influenced 11% of their total revenue. Also, conversion rate has increased by more than 10x for people who clicked on recommendations. This means that people who clicked on the recommendations were more than 10 times likely to buy something. So the next example I've got for you is another mutual customer called the Catholic Shop. Here we're looking at the view cart, and you can see the You May Like recommendations across the bottom. Now this is an interstitial page, so here I have the choice, I just added something to my cart, and, or several items, and you can see I've got the choice to either continue shopping or proceed to checkout. So this is a pretty valuable place to put recommendations. We also put them a little deeper in the shopping cart funnel. So what you should be seeing now is the checkout area. Um, if you have Google Analytics enabled on your site, we do set up event tracking as part of our um, 3D Cart plugin, so you can track the effectiveness of our recommendations. And uh, while I'm certainly aware that putting recommendations this deep in the shopping cart funnel goes against conventional wisdom, right? I mean, conventional wisdom is once you've got somebody in that shopping cart, you want to keep them moving through that cart. You don't want to give them any excuse to drop out. So I absolutely recognize that having recommendations in the shopping cart goes against that conventional wisdom. However, we've had quite a few customers test using um, their valuable real estate in this way, and they've seen great results. Another client of ours, icebreaker.com, is doing this very thing, and they've seen 50% uh, larger average order values and 15% higher conversion rates. So I want to pop over to Fernando's site, and Fernando is going to be joining us in just a few minutes. Uh, but this is Royal Yarns, and I want to point out the unique implementation of recommendations here. What you can see on the right-hand side there are top sellers on the home page. Not so unique, you might be thinking. But here we're showing four different top sellers every day. We're rotating those daily, cycling through the top 20. So those top sellers on the home page are dynamically changing and updating. In addition, while we just looked at top sellers on the home page, here we have them served up on a category page. This is a customer, a mutual customer called Lukey Games, and they sell uh, games for gaming systems like the Wii or a, a PlayStation, something like that. So here we have top sellers uh, served up on a category landing page, and in this example, the top sellers here are related to items on this category. So again, a little bit of a unique implementation. The last example I want to share with you from a mutual 3D cart and Fortel customer is Virginia Candle. And here you can see recommendations in the search results. So this is somebody typed in uh, to the search box vanilla, and uh, the I, I believe they're using the embedded search tool in 3D cart's 
um, suite of tools. But we've added into that the ability to show recommendations, again, vertically down the right-hand side here. And just to share some results with you, um, for this specific client, uh, over 30% of all page views have been driven by recommendations, and 30% uh, of revenue has been influenced by recommendations. So super powerful stuff. Uh, with that said, I'm going to turn it back over to Seth for a moment to talk about pricing. Okay, thanks, Amy. Nice. Um, I hope you all enjoyed those examples of real-world use of our product in a 3D card world. And uh, we've had great success with that. Um, we're doing a promotion right now and creating additional interest, which is just wonderful, for our new customers that come on and join us from now through the end of the year. We're offering a special to get 50% off of our normal low monthly rates. So our starting price, which is normally $49 a month, is a really low $24.50 to start out with. Our pricing, for those of you that haven't seen it, is volume-based, depending upon page views and calls back to us. Um, and so you can take a look at all of that on our pricing page on the web. I don't want to spend any more time with that. But that's really something we wanted to highlight, is that we have a great promotion, which has been very, very successful for us to start uh, the last quarter of the year. Um, now what I'd like to do is uh, bring up one of our customers, who is a customer of both 3D Card and Fortel, and that is Fernando Luli. Fernando, are you there? I certainly am, Seth. How are you? Good. Thank you. Great, uh, great, great. If you could speak up a little bit, maybe we could all hear you just a little bit better. Right. Is this better now? Uh, yes, it is. Thanks. Great. Wonderful. Um, what I wanted to do, just uh, I guess we just have a few more minutes left, right? Yeah. Uh, so I, ju I just wanted to hit kind of three three key points uh, about the Fortel service, and the and the uh, and the overarching um, theme that I have is, as opposed to many other apps and tools out there, and I've seen gazillion of them, and I've paid for gazillion of them, this tool really does work, and and. Um, Whatever uh, what uh, what was said before by Seth and by Amy up front about the ease of use, ease of implementation, it's very very accurate and very truthful. Uh, I know it's kind of unusual in the internet world, but uh, you know I, I will vouch for their implementation, which which uh, was very very easy. Uh, it was up and running probably in a day or two at the very most. Results started coming in well within the first week, probably within three or four days. I started seeing uh, changes in my metrics. So uh, implementation is seamless. It's a very flexible setup. I sat with Seth and his team, and we kind of came up with the parameters for the implementation. Uh, we chose to go with six-month sales data, uh, and that worked very, very well for us. And I just want to kind of quickly run through some numbers, which is really kind of important for me. I'm sure it is for you, because all these things cost money, and you want to make sure that everything kind of works for you and with you. The one thing I learned about Fortel, which is very unlike any other tool I work with, is I put this uh, tool, this application, in the uh, multiplier category. By that I mean it's a tool that affects every single order coming into your site, regardless of where it com uh, comes from. It could come from you know, part of shopping, pay for click, email, you name it. But the tool uh, impacts every single uh, visitor viewer on your site. So I call that a multiplier effect and, and because of that it's a very high ROI. Let me give you some uh, quick numbers. Um, overall about 18 percent of my orders are touched by Fortel or say it differently, Fortel touches 18 percent of my orders which is significant and it moves, it touches about 25 percent of my product sales. So you have a lot of people looking at and using Fortel on the site, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, my cart size has gone up 20% uh, the last 30 days. You know, I'm kind of looking at my analytics right now. My cart size has gone from uh, the last 30 days from 57 to $68 uh, dollars per cart, which is 20% increase. Uh, my conversion normal site is 1.5%. The Fortel, uh, overall Fortel is 6.65% conversion. That's a huge increase in conversion. Uh, time on site uh, with Fortel is about 11 minutes for my Fortel customers versus uh, two minutes for the normal, uh, normal non-Fortel customers on the site. So overall, it is just very, very powerful. 
And one thing I did learn that I think Fortel also learned was, getting back to the uh, point about the multiplier tool, when I looked at uh, Fortel's impact on those individuals using site search, all right, because again, it touches all visitors to your site, I saw this phenomenal numbers. Uh, for those people, for example, that are using a 3D card search in combination with Fortel, I get a, a, a probably a tenfold increase in just about every single metric. I get a tenfold increase I'm on site, tenfold increase in number of pay viewed, and a tenfold increase in terms of minutes on the site. So, uh, uh, you know, kind of bottom line is the tool really works. And at this uh, promotional price, I'm about to talk afterwards about my promotion. I'm only kidding. Uh, over, so, um, uh, overall, uh, a tremendous ROI, and you can't go wrong with this tool. You cannot go wrong with this tool, as I have with many, many other tools out there. So uh, kudos to the, uh, this team. They have a good product and great service. So with all that said and done, I will be quiet. <laughs> Thank you, Fernando. That was uh, that was. Tremendous. We, we really appreciate that. We uh, we work hard over here, and we do our best for you. Um, some of the numbers that you may have pulled out of, uh, of Fernando's presentation are indicative of the kinds of results that we see across the board with a lot of our customers. It's really, really great. So I can't stress uh, strongly enough that you know the, the numbers are what really wins in these games uh, for you folks as retailers. And uh, it, it is really tremendous to hear it from a customer, and uh, you know, I, I, and I'm sure Henry's just as happy to hear about it from a perspective of 3D cards. Uh, and so we can't thank uh, Henry enough and his team for allowing us to uh, uh, to do this webinar with them today. So again, thank you, Henry. Uh, thank you, Fernando. Uh, and Henry, if you want to take over and. Uh, finish this off with some questions and answers, we sure appreciate it. Sure thing. Uh, we've got a couple of questions that were already asked. And again, if anybody has questions as we're doing this, uh, there should be a question pane on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, first question that came up here is, uh, what are the steps to get going? Uh, uh, basically, how to go about getting this live? Uh, sure, I'll take that one. The, the, the process that we do is, is very easy, it's very straightforward. If you're uh, interested in, 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 in our stuff, you can go to our website and, and see it, uh, 4-tel.com. Very simple. We sign people up. Uh, you, you can sign up. Um, what we do at that point in time is we send you back an email with some very, very simple steps for you to send us some login capability for us to go through and help you configure the widgets you'll need. We grab your data off of the existing 3D card database, um, and then depending where you want recommendations to go, um, we'll have you up and running in very, very short order. We basically do a back and forth with some site design for the recommendations. We do not want to touch your site in any way that you don't want us to do so. So we're not here to redesign your site, re, re, you know, change anything you don't want us to do. We work with everyone, as you heard Fernando say, to optimize the design of your site. You folks work hard on getting the look and feel you want. We're only here to augment that uh, and provide the data back for those powerful recommendations. So it's a very quick process. Excellent. Um, one more question here. Uh, I guess it's sort of related to that first. Uh, uh, how much of my time will this take? Okay, great. So I'll answer that. This is Amy. Um, bottom line is it takes about 15 minutes to go through the quick start uh, setup process. And basically what happens is after you sign up on our site, you say, you know, yes, I want to get rolling. Uh, you provide us with your credit card for future billing. We do, by the way, have a free 30-day risk-free trial. So you can try our system for up to 30 days for free. At the end of that 30 days, if you choose to keep our system, you will be billed the monthly subscription rate. But, uh, so once you've gone ahead and signed up, we send you some quick start directions, and that includes asking you to provide us with uh, admin access to your site and an FTP login, and then simply tell the 3D cart support folks to turn on the advanced API. Uh, after that, we get the integration rolling. So 
when I say 15 minutes, it's about 15 minutes to just review that email and respond to those questions, provide that information. Um, following that, we will send you a site plan, which I mentioned earlier. And basically, we look through your site and uh, look for places to optimally place recommendations, give you some suggestions. And uh, it takes you, I would say, probably about another 15 minutes to review that site plan. Uh, and either approve it or, uh, you know, come back to us with the, the questions, comments, or changes that you want made. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. So 30 minutes would be about the tops of how much time it would take to get it rolling. Thanks oh. for the question. Awesome. Um, one question here is, uh, I guess, in reference to uh, something Fernando had mentioned. Uh, confused about the references made between 3D card customers versus Fortel customers. Aren't they all the same? Um, it, it seems earlier Fernando made a comparison between non-Fortel customers seeing the recommendations and, and Fortel customers seeing the recommendation. So I, I believe that's what the question is asking. Um, can you hear me? Is the volume okay? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my, my only reference to that well, is not is not for tell customers versus uh, versus 3D card customers, but uh, what I was referring to was not all customers use use a tool while on the site. Obviously, some customers have something very very specific in mind. They find it, they buy it, and they leave. Uh, so what I was referring to was my 3D card customers when they're on the site when they use a Fortel tool. All right, so not everybody uses the tool, but those that use a tool, the numbers that I reflected to you uh, a few minutes ago, reflect the behaviors of my 3D card shop, uh, uh, shopping cart customers that use a Fortel tool while on the site. Gotcha, that, that makes make sense. sense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it does. Right, right. <clears throat> Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry, this is Amy. Uh, Henry, if I might add? Yeah, yeah. Mind? No, be my guest. Okay, thank you. So just, I, I just want um, to, to add to what Fernando has said. What we're talking about when, I think when he says to use the Fortel tool, it's actually people who are clicking on a recommendation. That's correct. So not everybody who comes to Royal Yarns will click on a recommendation. Some will and some won't. Yeah, but and no, that's no, why, no, go ahead. I'm, I'm, yeah, so that, that's why I said it's a multiplier tool because 18% of my customers, when they're on the site, use a Fortel tool. And I don't know, I don't know how long you've been on uh, e-commerce, but anybody that uses a tool, you know, 18, 20% of your customers use a tool, that's a pretty powerful tool. That's a very, very powerful tool. So it, it, it touches a lot of customers. Yeah, thank you. Uh, one interesting question here. Um, being as it's two separate providers, 3D Card and Fortel, uh, the question is who provides support and what type of support is offered? Uh, my assumption is with the 3D Card side of it, obviously the 3D Card support will, will uh, suffice, but uh, what kind of support is offered with Fortel? Well, support's included in our monthly fee. Okay. So. Uh, so it, when when you're signing up with us, it's a monthly fee which includes support during the length of your of your time with us. So it's all included. And, it, and in terms of the type of support, we respond to both telephone requests and uh, email inquiries. We do actually have a um, a support uh, table or or support uh, plan that is part of our licensing agreement. So. If anybody is interested in knowing more about that, I can either email it to you or when you sign up for our service, you have the opportunity to click and read the licensing agreement and the details of the support plan are, uh, are right there. But we, uh, we are definitely very customer uh, service and, and, and customer focused. So we want happy customers. We have a monthly subscription fee, so we have to earn, our, we have to earn that subscription each and every month. And really, the only way we can do that is by providing you guys with a very clear uh, return on investment and obviously responsiveness to uh, any questions or problems that might arise. Excellent. Uh, one other interesting question here. Um, the, the hopefully I translate it correctly. Uh, does it bring customers to the site in any way? I, I, I'm I guess they're referring to is there any SEO type of uh, 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 traffic generation? Uh, from using Fortel. 
So that's an excellent question. Um, the really fast and easy answer is no. Uh, we recognize that people spend a lot of time and effort to get people to their sites, to get drive traffic to a site. Our job is really to convert the traffic once it's there. Now, that said, depending on how we're integrated, there are some SEO benefits to having recommendations on your site. Um, primarily, those benefits are through server-side integration, and it, it gets a little more technical than we probably want to get right, right here, right now. But um, I'm happy to have a separate conversation with anybody who wants to delve a little bit deeper into that. Um, so, so to wrap up, the, the, the real easy answer is probably no, not really. Uh, Amy, if, uh, this is Fernando. If I can jump in. Please. I, I think the one, the one key uh, benefit that I saw uh, that I've seen in my metrics with Fortel is a time on site mm -hmm. and nobody really knows what the Google algorithm measures or how they kind of measure and evaluate features but I know one thing is very very important and that is time on site anybody that's, that that uh, if, if your site bounce rate is very high you know there's no benefit from you know from Google uh, uh, analytics uh, point of view Google algorithm point of view if people tend to uh, browse on your site that works to your benefit the Fortel tool has increased my, my overall time on site, I'll say about 10 10% uh, since I implemented the tool, which, which may not sound a lot, but it is. And for those people that use Fortel, uh, as they browse from page to page, again, the time on site is probably on average uh, about 12 to uh, 13 minutes versus my average time on site of about two minutes. Uh, for people that are not using the tool. So there may not be uh, a value of incremental business, but what it does do, it increases your time on site, which impacts your metrics, eventually impacts your Google uh, uh, metrics and your positions, which will hopefully over time improve your um, Google search engine position. It's kind of a roundabout way, but it's very, very important because it's a building block. Wow, that's fantastic, Fernando. There's a benefit I we hadn't even recognized. Thank you so well, much. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of questions here. I think we have time for, for these here. Um, is Fortel giving recommendations based on the item side or if customers have logged in? Uh, and then they paraphrase, does it cater more exclusively to their previous purchases? Seth, do you want to answer that one? Um, yeah, I mean, both. So, it, so both of those things influence recommendation. Both, both the products that you're looking at are, are going to be a, a key determining factor of what shows up on the recommendation side. And then also, if we know who your customers are and their previous purchases, that definitely affects the recommendations as well. And one of the things we did not spend a lot of time with because of time constraints are the types of recommendations we can show. So if you want to go down uh, the path of, of finding some more detail, we are definitely uh, available to answer any questions that you want, uh, either Amy at 3 dcart or Seth at, uh, sorry, 3D Cart. Amy at Fortel or Seth at Fortel.com. Well, you know, we, we can go into more depth about the types of recommendations. We've got lots of different ways to, to, to provide recommendations, in other words, different types. So personalized, uh, you know, cross-sell. All those, all those types of things can be blended and work together for you. So, yeah, both of those things work both together or separately, depending how you want to set them up. Awesome. Um, there's one question that I, that I think I can answer. Uh, <laughs> it, will there be a recording of this webinar uh, available? Yes. Uh, we, we've been trying to record our webinars as much as possible. So uh, as soon as the video is encoded, we'll have it on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash 3D cart, uh, so we'll have it up there. And one other question that came in here, um, what do I need to have ready? Uh, is there anything special I need to, uh, to do for this? I guess product uh, planning uh, ahead of time. No, there really isn't. I mean, if you no. have uh, oh, wow. already, you have a 3D cart store, then you are ready to roll. Uh, we do suggest that you have a a certain number of SKUs to really make our tool effective, um, and that is in general over uh, over over about 50 SKUs. Anything less than that, sure, you could use our tool, 
but I don't think you'll see the bump primarily because customers can see you know, most of your catalog themselves fairly easily. So that's probably the only kind of requirement. Okay. And I think we have time for just one more. Uh, it's actually a combination of two separate questions that are about the, about the same thing. Uh, basically, how is it different from the 3D cart re recommendations uh, that they already have? And uh, a follow-up uh, is, does it over, overwrite the built-in 3D cart? Is it one or the other uh, recommendations? Yeah, that's, a, that's an excellent question. Um, so basically what we do is we do overwrite the 3D cart recommendations, but you can choose to run both. For example, we have quite a few customers who are running 3D cart's top sellers um, in various locations and then running Fortel's recommendations, cross-sell, personalized cross-sell, similar um, in other locations. So they can work together. Uh, the difference between the two is primarily that 3D cart is uh, category related and Henry you might be able to speak better uh, better than me to this my understanding is that you have to go in through the through the admin tool or through your CMS and pair those recommendations to set that up within the 3D cart system um, for the fourth health system uh, the that's the that's the automated nature of our system is that we uh, once we have your sales catalog and product catalog, all of that happens automatically. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, I think that does it for our questions. If I miss anyone, I, I humbly apologize. Uh, the, the, it's a very small window, and a bunch of questions came in all at once. So uh, if I miss anyone, uh, usually for these webinars, the, the software will generate a list of all the questions that were asked, so uh, the Fortel team will be able to answer them individually if we missed any. Um, I think that about does it for us. Uh, I want to thank Fortel for presenting with us today, and, and especially Fernando. Uh, it, it was really exciting having an actual customer testimony. I've never had that before in any of our webinars, and it was uh, very, very informative. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Um, so thank you, guys. Okay, bye-bye, Henry. Bye, Fernando. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank, thank bye -bye. you, Henry. Thank you. thank you, attendees, and thanks, everybody, across the web. Bye-bye now. Thank you, Seth. Bye-bye, Amy. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.